Hello and welcome. Today I am going to talk about worker pools and we will see how we can implement worker pools and how what benefits we can get from the worker pools. So let's understand we have we have a number of tasks. Let's say we have task one, task two, task three. We have the number of tasks here listed and we want to apply some some logic, some actions and then that action will produce a result. Now one strategy is to go in serial manner. So what is a serial manner? Serial manner is we will pick up task one, we will apply some logic or we will apply some actions and that will produce a result. So we can store this result in a let's say database or in a file or whatever or we will push it to the to the S3 or if there is a third party so we can we can uh, give it to the third party. So this is a serial way. Then after finishing first task, we will move on to the second one and then third one and then fourth one. But what if, if we don't know how many tasks we are going to handle or maybe the list is so long that going in a serial manner will take a lot of time. So to solve this problem, to handle this problem, we use the worker pool strategy. Now what is a worker pool? Instead of going in a serial manner, we create some go routines. For example, we have uh, some multiple some go routines. Let's say we have these four go routines: go routine one, two, three, and four. Now, these go routines will pick up tasks from this list, perform some actions. Will perform some actions. Whatever logic we have written, they will perform those actions and produce some result. And then we can set that result in in another list or uh, it can be a database or a file right so and these are uh, these go routines are actually the workers the workers so these workers pick up some tasks perform actions and produce result and then and they store the result in a specific manner so in this case in in our use case we have a channel of task so this is a channel it's a channel of task and also we have a channel of result right so we have channel of task and a channel of result so let's say i can say channel of task so i can remove this i can say task right and this is a channel so uh, for for the implementation of uh, our use case we are using the channels and we will pick up the task from the channel then go routine will apply some actions some logic and then push the result to a, a result channel and this solution is way efficient than going in a serial manner going uh, iterating through the task list and picking up one task at a time so now let's implement this using golang so we have a package main and uh, so what we want to do is we want to create channels, right? As we discussed in the, as we just discussed, we need to have two channels, one for the task and one for the result. So uh, let's say func main, and we will declare two uh, channels, let's say tasks, make, and uh, so this will be a channel, channel of integer, let's say so let's make it a buffered channel and i will say a uh, constant i declare a constant i will say tasks so let's say there are 10 tasks right so i will say 10 here and when we will and the second channel we have is result uh, make and uh, it's also a chain of integer and uh, sorry here we can say or we can say number of tasks number of tasks number of tasks and also number of tasks okay now what you want to do is we want to create a worker pool we want to create the number of workers who will pick up the who will pick up the tasks from the list and perform some actions and then produce the result so let's say i will uh, iterate i will uh, write a for loop 
for worker equals one a worker is so the uh, I, I'm going to create three uh, three workers and worker plus plus and now uh, let me write a function let me write a function that I will call I will say func worker and uh, and I'll say worker ID that's an integer and I'll say task and this is a, a channel but uh, this is a receiving a channel we will pick up the task uh, from the cha task channel so I will say something I will give a direction to this channel and it's an integer type and then result result we will push data into the result channel so we will say result chain and we will push data into this channel so the direction is towards the chain and this is also integer so i will range through the channels so i will say for j equals to range range of task or I can say here task so I will iterate through the through the channels and uh, I will say uh, now I will print uh, the the worker ID and I will pick up the task so I will say fmt from uh, dot s print f and uh, I'll say ID, it will be a digit. I will say worker one or two, whatever has started working on task. And I will say digit. So here I will say the worker id right and the task so i will say task right so this is a this is a printing statement and it says this that that uh, the worker id one has started working on task let's say one two whatever right and to simulate that it's doing some work uh, i will say time dot sleep time dot sleep and uh, one multiply by time dot second and it will sleep for one second and then i will say worker id one has finished working on task one uh, on, on this task and uh, okay now then let's let's push the result into the result channel so i will say result and uh, let's say uh, what was the task the task task multiply by by 10 right so what i'm doing here is i'm picking one task from the task list then i'm printing that worker one worker two whatever the number is has started working on the task that specific task number and then i'm sleeping for one second just to uh, simulate that there is some working going on and after one second i'm printing that the the task has finished the worker has finished working on that specific task and then i am pushing the result into the result channel and i will call this in a go routine here i will say go and worker and in this worker i have to pass the uh, the worker id so which will be worker right and i will pass the uh, uh, task channel tasks and I will pass the result channel. Okay, so now I have passed the uh, uh, the task channel and the result channel, and the worker pool will start working on the number of tasks. But we have not uh, written any task into the list. Now we will write the task that will be picked up uh, by the worker pool. So for that, I will say for and task. Let's say one and uh, task is less than equal to 
number of tasks and task plus plus and now i'm going to add the uh, the task to the tasks the so task and i'm going to add task okay so i'm putting at uh, the the numeric numbers into the um, into the into the tasks channel okay so now we have uh, tasks uh, available for the worker pool to pick up the task and work on that and uh, we also have the worker ready now we need to print the result so for that we have to iterate through the result channel so for that we will uh, say um, for result equals one result is less than equals to number of task which is 10 and result plus plus and now what we will do here we will simply if simply get the values from the result channel so we will say okay so let's uh, the channel uh, the result channel and this is uh, this variable is same so we will i will say uh, result counter and i will copy paste this result counter and result counter and here i will say result and here i will print the the numbers okay so let's let's recap what we just did we created two channels uh, tasks channel and result channel then we created a for loop and with that we initiated the go routines the worker go routine now in the worker go routine what we are doing is we are iterating in the uh, from, uh, we are iterating the task channel and uh, we are doing some uh, we are performing some actions and we are just sleeping for one second to simulate the action and then after finishing the task we are actually just uh, uh, multiplying the task with 10 and putting the result into, into the result channel and after that the uh, uh, the task uh, we have a for loop with task where we will push some task into the task channel to simulate that there are some tasks being pushed and after that we have a result so here it will be a blocking call as you can see the result will wait until there is something to to show so here we will wait the go routine will wait the main the main uh, go routine will wait and as there will be result in the result channel that will be uh, printed out so one thing we can do here that after completing the task after pushing the task in, into the task channel it's it's recommended that we should close the channel so let's close the tasks channel because it's no more in use so it's better to close the channel and if if we close the channel uh, that will be uh, then our program will not complain so let's run this program now let's save this first and run okay we have an error here and i think i forgot the semicolon let's run this again okay okay i think i have forgotten the import let's do the import okay let's run this again Okay, invalid operation cannot call function worker. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I think, um, okay, so the name of the variable and the name of the function is the same. So that's why it's saying that uh, non function worker. So let's say, let's change the name worker, let's say I say uh, worker ID, right? Uh, worker id and worker id and i will pass the worker id here this makes sense let's run this again okay it has worked but uh, there is no result so let's check why it's not printing any result so for some reason it's not sprintf is is uh, not working i'm not sure why so i so i replace sprintf with printf and uh, here i will add the new line 
so this will be a new line then and the same here i will add new line and uh, yeah i'll say print f let's run this okay now it seems like it's working okay so the first was the worker three started working on task three worker one started working on task one worker two started working on task two then worker two finished on task two then worker two has started working on task four and worker one finished on task two worker one has started working on task five as you can see different workers uh is picking up task from the tasks channel or you can say from the series of the task and working on it and then pushing the result into the uh, result channel so and this is how uh, we can uh, we can handle where we have a series of tasks a series of uh, operations we need to perform and we don't know uh, how many tasks there will be so we can use the worker uh, pool to handle such kind of cases. I hope this will be helpful for you and thank you.